Hi folks, Fuzz here, welcome back to Comrades, and today I'm going to be showing you where you can unlock a very powerful siege or one that many people have been using to great effect, and I've got a feeling this one might be nerfed in the future since it's clearly the option to go for at the moment. Hopefully that won't be the case, but either way you'll probably want to get this soon to make use of it. So what you want to do is head over to the power map of course, and starting from Lestalem you want to follow this route here that I'm just moving my cursor along up here and then across to the left and the final power line is 11,000 kilowatts and that's going to give us the Rhodes Sigil Aerial Ace Transmission complete. so we'll go ahead and learn that and of course we'll equip it see ya and then we'll go and put it into action and see how it's all going to work for us. So there we have it. And it does lower our defence. Though as you can see, it massively boosts our strength, which is very nice to see. I do love the strength stat in this game, I really do. Uh, but also it enables us to absolutely own enemies while we're in the air. Now this isn't just going to work on flying enemies, though that is useful, but it's also going to just work on bosses and generally large enemies where we need to break horns or whatever the case may be, but you know, normally we'd struggle to uh, reach them because they're high up. Well, this is where this is going to come into play. So we'll go ahead and select it. It's also not only going to help us stay in the air, uh, but it's going to boost the power of our attacks while we're in the air. So we'll go ahead and put that on now, the Rogue Sigil, and I'll jump into a hunt here I foresee great things and see how we get on with that. I think the Ghastly Griffin's good because it's a very quick hunt. I made a video on this for 6,590 kilowatts of power, so you can just farm this one over and over. Very well. To actually use this ability then, the Rogue Sigil Aerial Ace, you want to jump into the air just using the X key on the PS4 DualShock controller and when you're in the air just hold circle down to start unleashing your attacks and you'll be able to get some really good combos going by doing this and because of the aerial ace itself it not only helps us say, to keep you in the air but it also increases your damage while you are. So one thing I noticed is that it's not particularly great against flying enemies any more than any other attack would be but it is very very good against enemies that are on the ground and that are a little bit larger than normal because going those few extra feet in the ground as you can see here with me and my character um, we can just unleash some very very powerful combos and you tend at the end of your combo to kind of like ram down into the enemy for a heck of a lot amount of damage and you're going to break appendages and all sorts using this aerial ace so it's very very good even against the, you know, dreaded, uh, what are these ones, Bandersnatches that everyone likes to farm because of the strength and defence items that they tend to drop here, then you'll find the area lace comes in to be very, very helpful indeed. You can use this to break the horns of these Bandersnatches and you'll be able to get monster jaws much more often than if you're in a party that isn't using this. So I do recommend it, but anyway guys, that's what I wanted to show you today. Hopefully uh, you found this video to be somewhat helpful and that it's encouraged you to work on unlocking the Rogue Siege or Aerial Ace. And it's not going to take you that long, even if you haven't done a whole lot up in that area. Just use my previous video which I made showing you how you can farm power quickly if you need to. Uh, but hopefully you should have this in no time at all. And on that note, I'm going to finish off this final Bandersnatch here with my party. And I'm going to say goodbye to all of you watching. So thanks for stopping by today. I hope this video has been of help to you. If it has, please don't forget to leave a like. That does support me. I really appreciate it. And remember to be subscribed to the Fuzz Finger Game YouTube channel in order to be updated when I post new Comrade content in the near future. But that's it for me for today, folks. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.